I don't. In this video, we're doing line drill one. So now that we've done our cuts and we've done some of our basic stances, we need to actually start to incorporate having a partner, right? So sparring is all about actually making contact with the other person. So the very first thing I want you to think about is uh, both of us are going to be in our standard you know, walking stance. So for, uh, for us, if we're about a fist distance uh, between the two tips, that's going to be okay for now. So for now, all we're going to be in is in our walking stance and uh, your partner is going to draw forward. Uh, in the first iteration, all we want to do is have a nice constant push forward here. Uh, so the person who is pushing, uh, what he or she is going to be thinking about is a little bit of the, again, muscle activation, making sure you're sliding forward effectively. Uh, if you're a higher level, you can also start to think about like trying to push and pressure your opponent, uh, not merely just doing this because this doesn't have any uh, combat relation. Uh, for us, so the person who's receiving the drill, uh, we want to maintain this distance, right? Uh, so what, if you're brand new to this, so the first thing I want you to think about is simply maintain this distance if you want to for now, uh, use the two tips as a guide you can if you're brand new. However, uh, as you can probably imagine, if uh, he's advancing and I'm here and he tries to advance uh, he's going to have a little bit of a hard time engaging distance, right? I might be able to snap in uh, because if he was only using uh, the tip as a guide, it's going to be a lot more difficult. Uh, but if you're brand new, feel free to use the two tips as your, as your guidance. Uh, but as you get more and more uh, used to it, you don't want to be looking at the tip. Uh, you want to be looking at your opponent and gauging your distance based on that. Uh, so the first rule, uh, all your po uh, opponent's going to do is a nice constant slide forward and your receiver is just going to be trying to match this. Now if you can, you can match the footsteps. However, uh, if you're working with a taller opponent or a shorter opponent, whatever's going on, uh, your opponent's going to be doing just a standard slide. The receiver, we're just going to do whatever we need to do so if we start sliding to maintain that distance. If I want to do a slide, I can. If I want to do a double step, I can. So long as I maintain that distance. So let's actually do that drill kind of nice and quick. Right, so from here, so if he's instigating, good. And good for a uh, point of reference, uh, whoever is pushing in the direction, whoever is doing the drill, uh, if you notice your partner's getting too close to a wall, another opponent, fans, whatever's going on, uh, make sure like whoever is instigating kind of does like a little head nod, and if the head nod doesn't work, like say like, stop, so you don't like keep running back. Uh, likewise, if I go back against you, so for now, nice and constant. Again, if I'm working on the drill, I'm just working on push, push, push. Uh, but he's working on maintaining that distance. Make sense? And once you're comfortable with that, uh, so we're being nice with our partner, we're being nice and constant, we're just a like constant stream, right? Uh, but now, once you do that quite a few times, uh, your partner's going to randomize emotion. So being a little bit meaner, you don't want to be so mean that you're kind of like, ha, ah, ha, ah, again. Uh, you're just going to randomize it a little bit, right? Uh, so if he does that, right, so if he pushes a little bit faster, push a little bit faster, try, again, I'm just trying to maintain that distance, and now your opponent is trying to mess with that distance. Uh, he or she wants to get into a range to actually murder me to death, <laughs> right? Uh, so, uh, you're working on that nice pressure, pressure, trying to see how it goes, like in, and all that fun stuff. Oh, so actually, let's do an example of that, right? So you can get started. And once you're comfortable with that, so especially if you are brand new to this, probably stick to those first two drills. However, if you've been doing this for a hot minute, so instead of us both being in a uh, middle guard, either both or either of us can change up the guard a little bit, right? Uh, so you can be in high guard, a little bit awkward <laughs> retreating in high guard, uh, a little bit too obvious if I'm advancing in high guard because he's gonna stab me. But for now, just as a drill, right? 
Uh, so if you want to, you can occasionally stop and get your distance. Uh, but for now, uh, if we're here, so both of us can be in different guards, and now I have to gauge my distance uh, based on two people, right? So uh, once again, randomizing, right? So you can move. And then everyone wants to stop, kind of check our distance, see how good? We're pretty good. And we can keep randomizing. And same thing if I go back into you. And if everyone wants to stop, and kind of get back so look where we are, pretty decent. Uh, so those are three ways we can kind of just get used to engaging with an opponent, which is the point of sparring. So with that, make sure you stay safe, stay humble, and keep training. I don't.